so should much. be some good stuff here right there so this oh. is uh remember like who and maddie boys what 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 team is maddie boys team this time uh so this is actually the uh yeah seo versus membrello uh maddie boys is SEO, seo versus membrello yep. oh yep. this is the one we definitely want to watch for sure oh yeah oh yeah so SEO is going to be in the red, and Membrello is going to be in the blue, ladies and gentlemen. It's a three-cap match. It's very nice. And they're rotating the maps uh, in this playoff section, which is really nice. Oh, yeah. And there's Seas Nuts and Whirly Grig. We've seen these guys play before, and they're running a double destroyer in this team. Well, double destroyer, double battleship in this situation. It's been dangerous, the map control that they have with those two DDs. It... It's very interesting. I've seen Whirly Gig just absolutely murder late with him. And he's also great at distracting tac uh, distraction tactics, you know, getting him to make him run off into other places and then slowly whittle him down. So we got some advanced torpedoes coming in from Seas Nuts. Shots over here. Um, shot right on poor Matty Boy from Umbrello. Oh, yeah. It looks like the Belfast was easily mitigated most of them. Looks like he took one torpedo right there. Yeah. Nope. But now he's not just bugging out. He knows he's in trouble against double cruisers right there. There's a three ship formation at the bottom of against their two. However, the Whirly Gig is out on the outskirts of that B cab. So they're kind of spread out for the red team right now. But that actually works out in their favor with two DDs. It's all about map control. They don't need to be close to each other including 1080 taking C. They're just trying to go for map control. But you do have Kevin and the Helena moving in and taking B, so that does put a little uh, damper in their uh, fun. Yeah, it does, but it is nice right there. Yeah. And it's right there. However, Membrello is getting a little pushy right there, yep. pushing up in that B gap right there. And they're getting focused from all sides. They're not going to let that map control fall to those double DDs, as you can see. But however, Whirly Gig is going to come in there and challenge it. Oh, yeah, yeah, pushing Helena out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But Belfast coming in not early enough on that. Kevin getting taken down. I think the Nelson down here from Umbrella's team is in a good position right there. Could do a little flanking run on the Paltovo if he got the urge to. Yeah, I'm also kind of wondering, what's Matty Boy doing? I <laughs> don't understand. I don't, I don't get that I one. I guess he was hoping for one of these other ones to chase, but the other two dis DDs right here, between Whirly Gig and Season Us right here, they definitely... Uh, now they're linked up back together now and they dropped a set of torpedoes down. Those are controlling torpedoes. Yep, air of denial. Oh, yeah. Or, yeah. Or what we like to call CC torpedoes or crowd control torpedoes. There's dozens of names. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> However you want to use them. In this in this format, it could be right there. Now they're kind of grouped up right there. However, the, you know, poor 1080 right there is in a little bit of trouble right there, backing off right there, and yeah. the Nelson is moving in. Well, Nelson should. It's, it's alpha against those DDs can wipe them off the face of the earth. Yeah. I don't think the Poltava is going to do so well with this. And uh, never mind. Pol no, <laughs> Poltava is 1080. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's a four on two situation. Yep. It's definitely in their favor now. All this left is the battleship and cruiser run. Nelson just is really got to get lucky right now and just get a good shot on any one of these DDs. But Seas Nuts is bugging out. Ed Cole probably got a second fire on 1080. Matty See, now Matty Boy's coming in at the last moment for X additional support. So, yeah, they're quite... Oh! Yeah, yep. there goes 1080. Yeah. But unfortunately, that Nelson does not have two. enough health. It's like with the Ashtaka. He's got to... Mono's got to remove DDs. That's what he's got to do right now. Yeah, and you got Whirly Gig just sitting outside the A-cap, just pewing little HE at him, just ticking him down a little bit, just kind of 
given that good threat, but in comes the torpedoes from the Sims. Probably to buy these nubs. Yep. And yeah, there goal. goes the Nelson. No. Three on one. Yep. But the score is 254 to 428 in favor of the red team here. Yep. Of it's just kind of how they're going to how they're going to push it in at the last moment to finish it up. I think with the Ashtaka being at most health, it just literally it's a rush. It's just whether or not they want to let Seize Nuts or Whirligig die in the effort because Ed Cole is going to focus whoever is closest to death. Oh, oh, those torpedoes ran short. Yeah. Man. Mitigated the torpedoes really well, but <laughs> that's, that's still going to hurt. <laughs> it's still going to hurt. No, just a three on one barrage right now. He may get the Hervis. Really geek might go down, but I don't know. I think we're really out of there. I don't know. Oh, maybe I went wrong. Yep. Nope. Just over the top of him, right over the bow. Yep. I think that and was pretty much his last. Yeah, he it. switched at the Sims at the last moment. Yeah, all right. That is what it is right there, man. I tell you what. Woo. Can't do much against that. Oh, oh but yes. <laughs> <laughs> There's the final scorecard for you, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Mandy Boy taking that one right there. Oh, yeah. So that now was a that, nice match. Yep. Now that means SEO is going up against the grand finale of whoever ends up beating Membrello in the uh, loser bracket finale. So it's going to be going pretty good. All right. So are we following. Uh this team now or do we have another team to follow here uh we actually need to pop out of here i believe because we aren't uh i don't know if we are watching whoever virulent and uh methodic versus raven versus bourbon are playing i'm not sure exactly who's doing that uh let's actually quickly uh gotta make you a little smaller there so we definitely do have uh loser bracket 2-1 and loser bracket 2-2 two -two, and we'll have to see exactly who wins out of those four well, all right. We'll see how that goes right there. Definitely for sure. All right, guys, if you're just tuning in, we got Sly47 with us at North American Community to contribute for World of Warships Blitz. My buddy, my pal, and my other contributor for content for this game. And you know, we, we, we've had an interesting history, I say. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely, but uh, <laughs> we, needed, we needed to run into each other more. That's the, that was the biggest problem. Is that we just, I think uh, that was just, the biggest problem. Yeah, just yeah. never ran into it. Our schedule's so. conflicted. Oh, yeah. yeah, well, here we are now. So I think this is going to move forward for the community here right there. I do I do like the fact that we are con uh, collaborating oh. right there. Bobby's, Bobby Zach saying slides back right there. Richard Emery with the GGs. Justin uh, yeah. with the GGs as well. It seems like my internet can handle Discord. It cannot handle the stream tonight. It's just streams dead. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> At least we're able to capture your beautiful face right here in this stream. I got you, buddy. 100%, man. We have the technology. We have the power here, guys. We do. You know. Oh, yeah. Never to fail. <laughs> but only on Sundays. Well, for whatever reason, I fail on Sundays when it comes to biscuit and gravy and bacon Mondays. So... Uh -huh. Interesting. Yeah, I, I normally don't have any issues except out. tonight was just dead in the water. But well, who do we got here? In we front have of a slide. Versus Raven. Want... Oh, but yes. Yep. So like Salt Fire guy. is virulent and Lost is Raven, if I'm remembering right. Yes, Golden would be that. So. All right. We've got to get my note draw ready this time. No, I actually so have I that ready. Google I just don't have it set up yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. All you got to do is just stretch it across your screen a little bit until, like, the bottom end of the uh, icons fall off of your uh, preview screen, and then you're good to go. Yeah. And I then you got to right-click and interact. All right. So who's the red team here? So that's SEO, I would believe? Uh, if it's Golden's team, then it is the uh, Raven. If it is... Uh, oh, Soulfire team. Raven. Okay. It is S. It is uh, virulent. Sorry. 
<laughs> oh, okay. So this would be Vera. Yes, I do remember because it is Alistair right here. So yep. they are in the blue and in the red would be the other team. Raven. Yep. Raven. Yep. Yes. It is a two setup. Why am I having trouble remembering their friggin' names? Oh, it's because I haven't written their names down every fucking <laughs> <laughs> hey, they gotta change it on us. They, they can't make it easy. They can't make it easy. <laughs> no, no. Hey, you, we at least know the first three weeks are easy. Yeah, no, right? All right. <laughs> During no. these tournaments, we know the first three weeks are pretty easy because now I think I like the format. Now we were follow one team throughout the course, and we see every team play right there. Now it looks like the red team has taken up a pretty good position at the top of the map here. Oh yeah. Alistair's starting to peek out a little bit. That may cause uh, a little bit of problem for him. He may have to run back a little bit right there. Now it's a three-ship formation on the top. While their cruiser, Stuka, is sitting outside the map. And Stuka is an up. amazing player. Put... Very dangerous. Do oh, not yeah. underestimate no, Stuka. A... No, but he's definitely putting a lot of pressure on Soulfire. Yep. One of his main guns just went down. Yep, they definitely are focusing hard because you can tell the difference of the health. The Soulfire is the only one taking damage right now, besides a little bit on Alistair. Not yeah, so Alistair is trying to put a little pressure right there, so that poor West Virginia is going to get hit up hard. Now, Big Yellow is doing They're a great move right here, though. Trying to block and try to shift the, the aim of everything, but you're talking about really good players. Soulfire is down. Yeah, oh no. Yep. So we're, we just got to watch who's going to be the next target. And I have a feeling they're going after the battleships. What do you think? Um. Yeah, well, because you got Truvit kind of hiding behind the island, and you also got Alistair taking up a very good defensive position behind the island. It does look like some shots are getting hit at the cruisers. I think the Belfast, I think honestly, is going to sit there and toy with the Florida at this particular junction. And I do believe the other three ships are going to be spending some time on the cruisers. And the way their formation is lined up right now, I do believe Alistair and Truvit are in a lot of freaking trouble. Oh, yeah. Golden's just moving forward because they don't have any torpedoes. They can't really stop or slow down a battleship. The average DPM is just not going to do it. Alistair is making a push there, trying to get Paltry Wolf right there up top which is also an interesting ship to play right there because the black new orleans is strictly a gunship yep brings a lot of firepower to it oh. though it does and the he right there the indianapolis could be in trouble now if the colorado can swing around fast enough right now there goes the in indianapolis put yep. that in the Blue team's favor right there. Now it's a three on three situation with three minutes and 10 seconds left. The scorer is 126 to 244 in favor of the red team right there. Stuka is bugging out right there because Florida says America, but he is low on health. He dropped his fire now right there. Big yellow is running behind. I have a feeling the part's about to Get hit out Alistair. The, yeah. Let's see. It does look like, yeah, no, additional no, Colorado. Gone. Yeah, Colorado is gone yep, and took that kill. Alistair is ripping well, part apart got... right here. One there. Yeah, he's going to have to take a bow tanking position. Or his health is starting to get a little really freaking dangerous low. But the long reload time on that Poltova may give him an opportunity. But he is using armor piercing against the Poltova, so... When you hit the Bowser and the superstructures, it can be devastating to the effect. So it's a chunking maneuver right there. So you've seen the health move down pretty well, but... We'll see. It's... Ooh. And then we got Truvet running for his life down there from the Colorado. Yeah. Colorado's going to take a sweet time, but he's got a beautiful amount of range with that Colorado. So yeah. Truvit is definitely in a position, and he used his smoke on that one running. I think he's trying just to set the fires, as many fires as he can on the Colorado. Yep. Try to do Al the burn game. But Alistair got Stuka on the side right there. Stuka taking out Alistair. Man. Yeah, that got a little dangerous when it became a two-on-one situation. 
for Alistair. So now it's a three-on-one situation, and the Colorado is giving chase. Yeah, he's turning back into it. Yeah, it's, it's he doesn't have much, not much of a situ, situational play he can do on here right now. Other than that, to drop fire or drop his surface detection and run, but it's going to be over with out, at that yeah. point anyway. So it's out. It's that's out. how it is. Yep. Jeremy Colbert with 100 stars. Thank you so much, man. Much appreciated right there. Joseph has been falling for 1,229 days. Everybody in chat right now, give Joseph some big old love for falling for 1,209 days. Much appreciated, man. Guys, I just, here's the scorecard of that match. Yep. Oh, but yes. Yeah, but uh, Virulent getting taken down by Raven. So now it is it is uh, Raven versus Marvel. Or Membrello. Membrello, if I can talk right. <laughs> Membrello. <laughs> Membrello, there we go. I can do this. All right. All right. Things coming in the mail. I'll that eventually need to pick buttons. your brain for how to do that and everything, get all that cool stuff in there. Right now, I'm, I'm running pretty basic. So I don't know nothing about anything about anything. I know everything. I know everything. <laughs> I like that. How did Lost get in losers? Everything bracket? I learned on YouTube, I swear to God. Oh, swear man. everything on YouTube. Oh, definitely. After 558 videos of misinformation, I figured out I was doing it wrong the whole time. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let me, let me focus on. We got Membrello in blue <laughs> and Membrello Raven in red. Membrello is in the blue color. Raven in red. Oh. Yep. Raven in red. <laughs> what? No. Uh, Stuka over there. That roaming Stuka. That's a very dangerous combination. Don't do. Don't touch him. <laughs> well, who authorized Stuka to do all this craziness? Um, himself. They just let Stuka, they're Whichever like, one. "Go, Stuka. You do your thing. We will do other stuff." Oh crap! Is Mono dead? Stick. Nelson hasn't moved. Uh oh. No. Nope, moving now. Okay. Uh -oh. Maybe probably just a game crash. Probably just a game probably. crash. Yep. That is definitely looking like it's moving to me because now I can now draw they're... a line. Now they're moving. Now they're right. moving. They, they look like oh, they're yeah, dead still. But, yep. Maybe that was a tactic. We'll give them a minute before I engage. Yep. So it looks like the Potola and Indianapolis have coupled up together. Or linked up together right there, and they're defending their position right there, which is a nice position to hold on this map. Colorado's pushing around. Remember the Belfast and the Akatsuki down here; they're, they're they're capable of causing some trouble right there, so they may slow down this Colorado's advancement right here. I think Ed Cole might be pushing up a little too much. He's asking for a lot of crossfire right there. Hmm. Ooh. That was a that that hurt that hurt. See Stuka moving up in the in the roaming position. Yeah, you see him right there, and just hiding out. I'm just gonna sneak along behind the Akatsuki. That could be problematic right there. But the Akai has a lot of torps and decent guns, so it's a good mixture of things. Oh, most definitely. Ooh, Ed Cole well, taking a massive hit. Stuka coming in right there. Oh! Oh! Jeez. Stuka! Getting it right there at the end right there. Yep. Just sneak it in. 393 to 463 in favor of the red team right now. It's a four-on-three situation. We see some torpedoes popping off. Oh, wait. That's not even my own. There's some long range torps on park right there. Oh, Poltova took a couple of them. Duke is going for Wolf cap. Wolf is just saying, going to start splitting their forces. Yeah, he is. Sneaky. Yeah, that's. Oh, no, he's going right for the Nelson. He's probably not aware that the destroyer's hanging out with him. Yeah. Torps on golden right, mist. All that happen. Oh, they're going right for the cap right now. Yep. 
Stuka, of course, going right for Mono. One more Salvo. Right. Even doing a half Salvo Ooh, on that, bad. keeping the back two turrets capable of firing on the Atcat right here. Mm, yeah, he's definitely pushing for the cap right there. Now we got an interesting situation over here. It's a two on one. Yep. They you got that Poltova in a bad situation. Unless that Poltova gets real lucky and Paltry makes a bad turn and gets him. The red team's Poltova is coming up on that kind of cap. Could be. A... He's low health, though. So now, yeah, he's used his main gun. This Potova has a chance. The red team's Potova has a chance to really do some damage here because he's already used his main guns. Yep. Three. Wow. Yeah. Three parts. He put those out real quick. That Gotta. Indianapolis is just brutal. And now they're they're coming. I was like for a second there they were mashed up on health, but and it looks like for a half just... second. now oh now it's real close. Well, it's a two on one situation. Oh, and it does like, look like the red Potova here is gaining some health back. The blue Potova yeah. is gone. Indianapolis showing just it's a sleeper. It's incredibly powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. It's going to be nice a defeat work. for the red team right there. That would be Raven, right? Yeah. Raven won. Raven won. Yep. So it would be Raven versus SCO. And the next match. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. All right. Blame me. Blame me. It's fun. Blame me. I just. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan with the like. Thank you so much, man. Welcome to the stream. Oh, but yes, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. What are we? What are we looking at? We looking at Matty Boy I'm going yep. to watch and should we know these teams? We got Raven versus SCO. So SCO yeah, okay. is Matty Boy's team. If SEO wins this match, it's over. The finals are over. If they lose, then it goes into a second round. Oh, a second round indeed. All right, so we're going to slide over here. See if Raven, they're, they're on their last, uh, last whim here. Raven's last whim. Only hope. You're our only hope. Mm-hmm. The first thing they got to do, no ifs, ands, or buts about this, they got to take out the destroyers if they have any chance to really do anything against the A-team's double destroyer, double battleship combination. Or just play defensively and try to basically goat the DDs into your uh, cruiser players so that they can rip them apart. And then that way it also protects your battleships. Most definitely. But let's see how it plays out. What What is the strategy that they're going to be looking for in this situation? Torpedoes coming out from uh, Seas. Well, Tova from T80. Well, it looks like they're going to try to take out that uh, Belfast. They got Belfast kind of locked up in that position right there from the Torpedoes. Sims is kind of maneuvering around into a different position. I think we might be seeing two 2v2s. Two that does yeah, look like it, though. Yeah. Matty Boy and Whirly Gig are kind of in an interesting position right now. Open water down on the bottom right of the map. They're doing the right thing. Focus down in the Indianapolis. Once you remove the Indianapolis, you remove parts defense against any DD. Mark Kelly with the 200 stars and Trent with the light. Thank you so much, guys. Welcome. All right, Manny Boy's in a little bit of trouble. They got double focused on. However, the service being piloted by Whirly Gig is moving around right there. Now popping off some shots right there. Yep, keeping up the pressure on, on Paul, on uh, Wolf right there. Yeah. Of course, Natalie Lee Indianapolis is backing up. The blue team's Hervis is dropping some torpedoes being piloted by Whirly Gig. It looks like the Poltova here on the red team is going to get in between the torpedoes, and he won't be taking any of that. However, Whirly Gig is dropping another set of torpedoes, and then we're going to have to watch what happens right there. Coraline, we aren't playing any off of my Guardian's 
Yep, and then Seize Nuts is actually getting uh, one or two hits on Golden up here with Torpedoes. Two hits right there. Ooh, Palter Wolf taking two hits from the Torpedoes, getting a Flood, immediately Ooh. healing, though. Nice job, Indeed. Really good. Clint Brook with the like. Oh, my goodness. He's taking a lot of hits. Mm. Hmm. Lost needs to no. get somebody out of there. They're combining focus on Maddie Boy. They're trying to take out Maddie Boy right now. That's what they're doing. Yeah, Golden's running away though. It's weird. The the battleship play is weird in this. The, a lot of running away. Oh, we got final shots on Maddie Boy. Yep, there we go. Golden yeah, taking out that Maddie ticket. Boy. Yep. Unfortunately, Golden taking a lot of damage and needs to definitely run. See if Stuka can take advantage of that situation along with Part staying alive for that. Unfortunately, Paul Terrell is running away from Willie Gig. Mm, looks like 1080 is turning around. It looks like he's going to chase Stuka a little bit. I think so. You're not good for your health. Seize is coming back in there. Hmm. It's definitely a four on three situation. Yeah, Golden Watching is bugging out of the situation. Didn't probably take time to recoup. However, we got Paltry getting chased by Whirly Gig, and he seems to be pretty good in health. However, Paltry Wolf is not in a good position right now on his health bar. But get Whirly Gig to turn broadside long enough to get all those guns on him, he might be okay. But being as good as Whirly is. Man, why is weird positions? Well, so Whirly Gig is pushing on, on the team cap right there. While I thought Golden was actually rotating out to go help out Cap, but it's just too slow for the Colorado. It would take him too long to get there yeah. in the first place. Oh. Took Ooh, a torpedo too, but he's still in the game. Paltry is in a lot of trouble right now. He's got to Part turn around took and go a back full and set of torpedoes out. from seas. Yeah, those torpedoes are so slow on the Sims. <laughs> but they still hurt. But if they you're like do. three, well, the Sims parked right in front of the freaking Paltova and waited for him to right. pull up and then dropped him three kilometers away. He ain't missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stuka took out Seas Nuts. They're going to flip the caps. That's what they're going to try to do while well, Golden's moving back. But Paltry is dead. I don't even know why you'd want to actually send Golden back. Is just literally take cap, just win that way. Or can they? Yeah, they can. They it, to, it's a three on two situation. It's also. No. Yeah. It's whether or not 10 and you can get part. If they can trade. Ooh, trade right there. Ooh, that was a trade. Oh, wow. Okay. So, that means... So, now the only other battle right now that we have going on right now is we're going to watch the Hervis take on freaking Golden. Golden just needs to run. Just run, Golden. Just do it. Right. Just do you it. Get 30, you got 20, 22 seconds. It's so <laughs> right there. Betting the farm, too. Whirly gig. Oh, I don't think that's enough time. I don't think the torps are fast enough anyways. Yep. Golden's just running no. away. Yep. Raven won it. Ooh. Round two. Yep. Round two. Fight. Do, 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 do. Wow. Six. 90 to 715. They're still pretty close match within 25 points of one another in that. Wow. That was, that close. was pretty close <laughs> indeed, despite the number of ship count right there being on 2 1 1 uh, at the end of it in favor of the red team here. And then that Robin Wood would take it. And it's going to have to. And it was their last chance to do it, too, if they had to get that win. Wasn't that correct? No, they, they it goes into. Uh... Game two. Uh, best yep, of, game best two. of three. Right? Best of three. 
No, no it's the it's double elimination all the way through to the end. And oh, okay. that, that that's SEO's first loss. So they have to they have mm. to lose. Okay, I'm gonna ready up making I sure see. I got this. <laughs> It's, it gets a little confusing sometimes, but, you know, we're trying to bear with us, guys. We're trying to provide you the best information that we can along the way. Yep. Thank God we have Lifting Stein here. Yep. So they're flipping sides. We got straight domination. Rogue, what do you think of this map? How do you think they're going to play, especially with the two DD Stravos, two cruisers? Oh, God, straight. It's 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 group up with your team on one side or the other. I mean, if you're at the C cap and you got... You know, the team down there, and you're the team on the right side of that cap on the map there, you're probably going to be grouped up with three. If you're not, and you're the guy at the top of the A cap, you're going to have to run down to the C cap and group up. If it's flipped the other way around, if you're at the A cap, and you got a group of three over there, and you got your one player down at the bottom, you're going to have to regroup with that four over there. If not, charge on the B cap. This is... This could go either way for either team, depending on how they play it. If they got the one guy playing as a distractor at the other end of the map on the three teams, or if they're going to have that destroyer or maybe even cruiser play that havoc down there or regroup at the bottom of the map is and push up in a four man formation or have that guy run into the B cap at that point and try to push on that B cap and challenge anything that could be entering into that B cap. I don't know. It's a crazy map all the way around, but we'll see how it goes. And, in this Brandon. map entirely. Let's see what they do, what their strategy is. Guys, you do the stream and have a chance to earn $50 live right now tonight being sponsored by the Liquid Coliseum. Hit the like Rogue. button. That's all you got to do. Rogue, are you giving and away two $25 ones or one $50 Yes, one? two $25 cash prizes tonight being paid out via PayPal. Oh, but yes. I'm like, as soon as I saw it, I almost wanted to start playing the game. <laughs> so now I, I went and talked. I, I started you. pushing the WSD. I was like, I, "Oh crap!" Oh. I did that all the time. So since it is a four v four tournament, it, each team is split up on two on each side. So in this particular situation, it's either you're going to have two on two battles, regroup at the bottom or regroup at the top, or make it one big cluster of a. Uh, of a grouping and pushing from the top to the bottom or to the bottom to the top, however you want to do it. Yep. But the mapping and the way the teams are spread out, it could be some interesting two-on-two -two situations. However, you got the Hervist and the Ashitaka for the red team over at the A-cap, and then you have uh, Part, we're just going to call them Part, and Paltry Wolf and their Poltova in Indianapolis over on the blue team over at the A cap and down at the bottom here we got Golden Watch and it is Colorado and the Stuka for the blue team from what I can see and 1080 and C's nuts and their full 12 and Sims. I think with the DDs at. they have to do map control this entire game and they have to try to have the battleships force the cruisers out while the BBs just slug it. So you have to get those caps. You that that will be your early dominance and your win. And the way it's looking at it, it's like oh. they are trying to push that paltry wolf down to try to uh, bring that uh, cruiser down. Cruiser, the word cruiser. I'm looking for the word cruiser. Oh, yeah. Really geek. He's taking double damage right now. He's getting focused. Well, he's got a, it's a good, it's a good ship, especially in this area. It looks like Potova for the blue team is putting pressure on there. Hello. Has, has Torps out on Golden Yo. right there. Hey, is Lip. Stormrilla, is Stormrilla yeah. admin? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm Stormy. Oh, yep. Stormy. I'm sorry. So, Stormy. yeah, Parts taking some Torps from uh, Whirly Gig right there. There's a few... Like, can you change my name back to Stormy, please? Hey, this is a private channel right now. Can can you ask? Go up one channel and ask them, please. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, Stormy. <laughs> yep, 1080 is taking a lot of damage from Stuka down there. Unfortunately, just burning him out, doing what the Belfast does pretty well. Part versus yeah. Magic Boy. Especially with Whirly Gig, maybe going in for an assassination run. 
I don't know. Seas Nuts is right on top of the Colorado at this point. That's that. Oh damn! He couldn't miss yeah. this opportunity for a torpedo <laughs> strike if he couldn't. Ooh. I mean, oh, and ten eighty pushing too. on that. Oh wow! And Whirligig going in for that assassination run, betting the farm on those torpedoes taking down part. Nice work on that. We'll give him that one for sure. That was a beautiful clean with there. Chandra Kingston with the like. Richie Zhang said, this is so awkward, Sly. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I'll leave if you want me I to. I don't know. Uh, no. I'm, I'm sorry I can't, <laughs> can't stream. My internet's just like... So, what are you going to do? Matty Boy is, unfortunately, maybe taking down Golden? Ooh. I don't, I don't know. It's so really long. close. Ooh, no. Dying Salvo. I Ooh, two to two now. Oh, wow, it's definitely nice attrition. Now, now it's a two on two situation. Now, Paltry Rolf has got to take out the freaking Whirly Gig man because Whirly Gig is just going to murder him. And in the, the Indianapolis, if they've it. got if they've got it all set up, Paltry should not have a problem. But Whirly Gig is Whirly Gig, right? True. As soon as they, <laughs> oh God, Stuka is on hot run right now. Running up the cap. Season us is trying to really link up with uh, Whirly Gig here and see how the action turns out. Two cruisers against two destroyers. How will the play happen? Well, the thing is, the Sims needs Whirly Gig alive in order to spot the Belfast if it goes into smoke. So it, it's Sims is trying to get up there. Seas is trying to get up there to try to keep that person alive. Yeah, Paltry's moving out of. Ooh. Yeah, they are. Both of the destroyers are sitting there trying to focus on Paltry Wolf. Stuk is trying to get into the action, but the destroyers are just too oh, off, too much on them. Yep. Yeah, there. That's it. There he goes, Paltry. So these guys play it right for the last minute. Oh no, they're still shooting. They, they unfortunately are going to lose the cap victor or the cap timing on this. They have to push on Stuka. Yep, they got they to finish to it up in the next minute 30. Yep. So it looks like these nuts is positioned up, positioned up behind, the, behind the island for a strike. Stuka is going to be aware of this. Very much so. Come on. Really gigs in a lot of trouble. Yep. Here comes. Oh, we could see a play from season us right now. I think it's so he's at least trying to, trying to get a position to get a view of him, if anything. Might be trying to buy his, his detection time, too. Yeah, true. Now it looks like it's a two on one push right now. What is. Yeah, he decides to focus on Seas Nuts. He's popping his smoke. But now he has Whirly gotta... Gig with him. So he can once they can spot it. But if Stuka can remove Whirly Gig, then. Oof. It still is a bad situation because both these boats. Oh, oh there goes oh. Whirly Gig. Now, it's wow. Stuka, ooh, uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't hit know. Hit the like button, Richie. That's all you got to do is hit oh, the like button man. in order to enter the giveaway. We got two twenty-five dollar cash giveaways to give out tonight. At ooh, the end overshot of the and a close one right there. Sees nuts is going in. The best thing that Stuka do is try to just get super close. Yep. Yeah. Got I super close, but can paint. see. Can, yep. Bob and Weave. Bob, yep, go right out there. Tail to tail. Stale, nope. tail to Stay tail. alive. Stay alive for six seconds and Loss wins it. Oh. Oh. oh the slow. Oh. The slow torps of the Sims. Oh. Jeez. Oh, my. Stuka. Stuka was the MVP of that one last match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my gosh. There's a scorecard of that. Holy oh, man. smokes. And that's that's double elimination, right? So since Raven won. Yep, that's it, guys. That's it.